Hey guys, Glorfindel here with you again. Um, I'm gonna walk you through the completion of the guns. Um, I didn't shoot that much video uh, what I constructed them. I just did a lot of video of this section. The shaft of the gun. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you some photos that I took and I'll explain them and we'll go along like that, okay? But for now, real quick, the guns are done. As you can see, I did end up cutting uh, the styrene collar. And then I cut a piece of styrene half round. And I joined them together with, you know, regular crazy glue, okay? I slid everything down, crazy glue up here to keep the collar on, and then I crazy glued uh, the uh, half round as well to it. And now it was pretty firm, so it's, it's fine, it's good. Then what I did is took the remainder of the cannon, the base of the cannon off the kit, this section here, all right? Um, I just drilled out a little bit of a hole. I made it wider to accept uh, the end of some of the tube there. What I did, um, I didn't really show you the pictures of it, but maybe it shows up on the photographs that I did. I have uh, an extension of the thin rod here that goes basically, I guess about down to here in the piece, all right? Um, I'm looking at the side of the camera to make sure I'm pointing at the right spot, so, you know, I'm a putz. Okay, so I ended up epoxying that on with two-part epoxy, and it's it's pretty solid stuff. I mean, it's like drumsticks now, okay? So, that basically was the construction of the, uh, the, the guns, the lasers, the cannons, if you will. Um, they came out pretty good. I, uh, I'm pretty happy. One is a little cocked to one side, about three degrees or so. I think when they're on the model, because they're going to be deployed open, I don't think it's going to make a big deal. I don't think you're really going to notice it that much. Um, but I, I was kind of satisfied with the way the guns came out. So, onward. I started some wing work, and I'm just going to show you real quick what I did. All right? What I did is started on some of the wing detail. Um, bring a piece here. Inside wing to this kit. And I can tell you right off the bat, I don't care for this section. So what I ended up doing was cutting it out on a couple of the other ones. I was going to demonstrate how I cut it, but you guys know how to cut stuff up, okay? And I'm going to basically cut it out, and then you got to eliminate this piece too, all right, to do what I did on some of the other pieces. And let me show you real quick. Um, okay. This is one wing I started. And I got a lot of things going on here. I'll brief you real fast. On the back side, what I did is I glued two pieces of half mil styrene sheet that I cut a square and a rectangle. I made sure they fit um, to my thin, acting as a laminate for the, the styrene pieces. I fill in those openings, okay, and I flip it over. Okay, once that dry, I took styrene channel and I glued those down into place cut the angle, sanded them down a little bit so I got a nice snug fit. And, uh, they pretty much are, are all, these three are, are, are like that right now. Um, the other thing I noticed too with the kit was, or really with the inside of the wing here, this line, this line, not even a line, this section is wrong. When I was looking at some uh, images of the inside of the wings, really, uh, you know what? This section is supposed to follow straight through. All right, so like, like making a puzzle, I uh, went with them some scrap pieces of uh, styrene sheet again, and I cut out a wedge, sanded it down, made it fit like a puzzle piece, and I glued that in. All right, so I, I've you know basically corrected that too. Um, these have to be sanded down. I still have to work on this one, and then I'm gonna go in. I have a detail piece for in here. I tried to match it as close as possible, and I'll show pics of that also when I get to it. Um, pretty much where I am at this point. 
I've already started to rescribe some of the lines on the inside wing details. And I'm gonna have to scribe again, I think, once I'm done sanding these pieces down and, and, and working on that as well. So that's where I am. And then my next update, I'll show you, hopefully, the back of the wings because I'm doing some work there as well. Um, after that's all finished, I'll cut the wings because I'm mounting these. I'm not going to be using the opening uh, electronic mechanism. And uh, then it's on to the fuselage after that. So for now, that's it here. And I'll give you another update, probably another week's time or so, a week and a half like that when I get a chance to do things. Um, that's it. That's where I am. So until then, I'm out of here. And I'll talk to you guys on the boards.